it's your boy D-Way coming back with the another video and uh in today's video we're going to be talking about the gfl uh this past weekend we had our first game versus uh the new york alliance uh, unfortunately did not go the way that we planned but still felt great to be back out there with uh, my new team and it was definitely a good experience their, their stadium was was awesome and it was definitely like i said a really really unique experience being over here and playing my first bit of american football uh, but in today's video i had some questions uh, after the game from uh some people back home in different areas just asking like how, what is the GFL? How does it work? Like who's all out there and things of that nature. Uh, so in today's video, we're just gonna be talking about how the uh, GFL or the German Football League uh, works and without further ado, we'll get right into the video. All right, peace. All right, so in today's video, first thing I wanted to talk about in terms of what the GFL is, is this is considered a uh, professional league over here in uh, Germany. And how this league works is it's pretty much a club-like system. Uh, so their guidelines and everything for how like the league structure works is similar to their soccer leagues. Uh, so in terms of like teams that are the worst in the division, uh, so there's a GFL one, two, three, all the way down to seven. And pretty much how it works is you want to each year com compete to try and win. The better your team does, if you win a championship, you have a chance to play up to the next league and be in the next league the following year. But vice versa, if you do poorly and you're at the bottom of the league, then now you actually have to fight to stay within the league that you're in. So let's say we had a bad year and we are in the last in the division, we would then play the other worst team and whoever loses that game then goes down to GFL two instead of t staying at the uh, the top league. Uh, so that's more or less how the, the league structure works. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty unique because it, it gives people incentive each year to always try their best. There's no nothing like the NFL where you, you tank a season and just it is what it is, try and get a high draft pick or something like that. In this league, you, you want to win at all costs because you do not want to move down and you always want to progress and go further and further. The thing uh, in terms of how the GFL works is their rules. So in terms of rules, a lot of people wonder, since it's a professional league, is it NFL or is it college or some other type of rules? Uh, so they actually use the, uh, the most current NCAA rules. Uh, so like a big thing difference from NCAA to NFL is something as simple as uh, feet. Inbounds. So if you catch a ball, get one foot inbounds, then that's considered a catch within this league. While like the European League of Football that just started, their rulings are based off of the NFL. So they need two feet in order to be inbounds. Um, so, I mean, it's not very drastically of a difference uh, in terms of their rule structure. It's not like just because I'm using college rules that that makes this less valuable of an experience for uh, NFL recruiters or anything like that. Uh, but it's just something just to know just kind of how the guidelines work and kind of what type of rules you'll be having to play with. On those lines, that's a, a main reason why I chose to come over here. Uh, so back in the States, like with the arena ball and stuff like that, those are very quality leagues, but with it being eight man football and having those kind of weird type of rules, I feel like being in a place where it has rules that first off I'm already accustomed to, but as well as recruiters see and they understand and know what's going on, it makes it a lot easier for them to evaluate what you're doing and how well you're doing. So the league is pretty much the player structure. Um, so a lot of people are wondering kind of how the whole player structure works over here. And pretty much how it works is we have a team right now of 60 people. Uh, out of the 60 people, we have three Americans uh, currently. Um, so typically how it works is you'll have around eight to 10 imports per team. Uh, so with those eight to 10 imports, uh, you'll have around four, pretty much four Americans that will come over uh, and play for the team. And then the other imports are considered people who are EU. So if someone's from Switzerland or someone's from France or the Netherlands or Canada, like any of the other different uh, major countries that aren't Germany itself, those are considered imports because you're bringing them from another country to Germany to play. So you have about 10 total, uh, depending on the budget of the, uh, the, the club, that um, you can bring into the team and have play. Uh, another rule along with that is that only two Americans can be on the field at any given time. Uh, so a way that that's known and signified is if you watch the game or you watch any of the games, you'll see some of the players have like an A on the back of their helmet as well as a big A on the back of their jersey. That's just to signify for refs to easily know that, all right, that's an American and that they only should have two of those on the field at one time. 
Uh, the main reason for this is because, yes, it's American football, so you would assume there'll be more Americans, but they still, this is still the German Football League, and they really want to emphasize, yes, they want competition, yes, they want people to really uh, have good good product on the field, but they also want this to still be an in-house league. So they don't want it to be filled with 50 Americans and then just six Germans. And at that point, that's not really what they're trying to go for. Uh, so like I said, out of the 60 people we have, there's probably... For our team, I think we have 51 or 50 uh, Germans on the team. So it's primarily all made up of uh, Germans on the team. Uh, so these are people that are local. So um, so people that like are police officers and stuff like that, that li uh, live and work within Berlin. Those are the type of people that are then actually now over here playing uh, for the Berlin Rebels. Uh, so that's another uh, key thing to know about this league and how it works. Uh, more or less, that's just a quick rundown of the GFL and how it works. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you stayed this long, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.